Anderson Cooper is keeping them honest. AC 360, CNN weeknights, 8 Eastern. It's hard. It's very hard. I want no mother, no father ever go through this, ever. This is how Shirley Chambers likes to remember her children, four happy kids and a mother beyond proud. But then in 1995, she began losing them, one by one. Not to disease, not to car accidents, but to gun violence, all right in her own neighborhood. Carlos was first, then 18 years old. It happened after an argument with a friend at school. Next day, he came back and he shot Carlos right on the street. Five years later, in April of 2000, it was 15-year-old Latoya, Shirley's only daughter. She was beautiful. She just, she had it all. She was, she was my baby. Yeah, Latoya. Latoya was accidentally shot by a 13-year-old who had somehow gotten a hold of a gun. He was, was trying to shoot someone else and he shot, hit Latoya. Then three months after Latoya was killed, Shirley's oldest son, Jerome, was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting. Jerome was uh, 23 when he got killed. At that point, all she had left was Ronnie. They stuck together for more than a decade, pulling each other through the tough times. And then, last weekend, in front of this tree on Chicago's near southwest side, he too was killed, gunned down while sitting in a car. Ronnie was 33. He'd been living with Shirley, which is the way she wanted it. Yeah, I want to just keep him close because he was the only one left. He didn't ask nobody for nothing. Laverne Smith has known the Chamber family all her life and describes Shirley as a good mother. Let me tell you something. That woman was the best mother out here. That woman did everything in, her, in the world for her children. It's not her. It's the people out here. You feel guilt? I don't feel no guilt at all because I, I did everything I possibly could for Ronnie. I was there for him. I was a good mother for him. I did anything. He knew he could depend on me. He could come to me for anything. Shirley says solving gun violence requires stronger sentences for people convicted of gun violence. And in her community, she says people who witness shootings need to tell police what they know. They're going to be in the same situation one day, and you're going to want somebody to talk up for you. So you need to say something. Somebody got to do something. They got to do something. This is crazy. This is getting out of hand. Ted Rollins, CNN, Chicago.